Hi Scorpio, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Scorpio, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Scorpio. Okay, so we have the Five of Swords, and this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. So this is an energy of conflict. This is an energy of someone feeling defeated by the conflict. Let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. We have the Five of the High Priestess, Pisces Energy, the Nine of Cups, Water Energy, and the Knight of Wands, Fire Energy. So this person, you could have distanced yourself from them. With the High Priestess, there's an energy of giving someone the silent treatment or just not being on speaking terms with them. You may have walked away because you felt like this person was playing games. And with them showing up as the Knight of Wands, there is an energy of them possibly being a player. This is someone who is volatile and non-committal, someone who tends to put themselves first, even at the expense of others. And you may have grown tired of this. But this person does see you as someone that they have uh, feelings for with the nine of cups they see you as someone who brings them emotional fulfillment and that they they have a lot of desire towards um but with the nine of cups it looks like you've distanced yourself from this person and there's a feeling of being content without them in your life so let's clarify these cards scorpio Okay, we have the Seven of Cups in the reverse, and this is Water Energy, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio Energy. So you could be starting to see someone clearly uh, for the first time, because with the Seven of Cups, there's an energy of illusions, delusions. And you may have felt like this person, they had you wrapped up in, you know, the, the, there's an energy of feeling kind of consumed by this person, by the situation. And you may have been wearing rose-colored glasses, and something about you st taking a step back and being in that high priestess energy does help you see your situation more clearly. So let's see. And you have the two of swords, air energy. The two of cups, water energy. And the moon in the reverse, Pisces energy. Yeah, it looks like you'll be seeing something more clearly, more distinctly here. With the moon in the reverse, you could have been kept in the dark. And you will be getting some sort of clarity around that. And with the two of swords, you may have even been a bit indecisive about this situation. But it does look like you will reach a, a decision on your own. Um, we have the Two of Cups, which does show that this is someone you, you do have feelings for. There may have been a genuine connection here. But the question is more so, is it enough? Because it looks like it's more so feelings-based. But there's something practical about this connection that is kind of underwhelming. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, um, Scorpio. Okay, we have a fiery climax approaches full moon in aries Okay, we have codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life.
and we have strength of character and moral integrity. Character cannot be developed in ease and quiet. Only through experiences of trial and suffering can the soul be strengthened, vision cleared, ambition inspired, and success achieved. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, um, Scorpio. Okay, we have surrendered the idea you can fix someone. It's time for a relationship to shift. It doesn't work to try to fix someone. Each person must be accountable for his or her own healing. Okay, so there's definitely, this could be a codependent relationship, but it does look like it's a lesson, a connection that's more of a lesson. And you may be starting to recognize that. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Scorpio. I hope you have a really, really good day, Scorpio. Bye, Scorpio.